Okay, welcome to part two of this example where we're doing a simple discrete time convolution. And in part one, we pretty much laid out the problem and got started. And we had gotten up to the point where n is equal to zero. Uh, we had come up with uh, the value of y of zero. And so basically at this point, we'll just keep going on through different values of n and uh, see what we get. So this is the case now where n is equal to 1. So I've taken, uh, I have h of k, I've taken h of minus k and shifted it to the right by 1. And now the points where uh, non-zero things line up, I have at k is equal to 0, 1 times 1, which is this guy. I have 0 times negative 1, which is 0. I have 2 times 2, which gives me this 4 up here, 0 times 3, and everything else is 0 times 0. So this says that y of 1 is equal to 1 plus 4, which is 5. Okay, so let's keep going. We now have the case where n is equal to 2. I've taken h of minus k and shifted it 2 to the right. And the only place where I have things, OK, uh, so I have a negative 1 times 0, a 0 times 1, a 0 times 1, a 2 times negative 1. So I've got this negative 2 here. And then zeros times anything else over here. So this says that y of 2 will be negative 2. OK. Um, y of, well, this is the case where n equals 3. So again, I've taken h, flipped it about 0, and shifted it 3 to the right. And uh, for k uh, less than or equal to 1, I've got 0 here times stuff. I've got 2 times 1 here, and then I've got 0 times stuff here. So the only thing, uh, the only term that's non-zero is this 2. So y of 3 will be equal to 2. OK. And finally, for the case where n is equal to 4, I have h of minus k, so it's flipped about 0 and then shifted 4 to the right. And you can see that everywhere this guy is 0, uh, the product of this guy with x will be 0. Everywhere this guy is not 0, x is 0, so the product is going to be 0. So y of 4 will be 0. And if n is larger, I'm just I keep shifting h to the right. Um, since h is 0 from this point down to minus infinity, I'll never have, for larger n, I'll never have a location where the non-zero part of x and the non-zero part of h of n minus k overlap. And so for larger n, uh, y, I can say y of n is equal to 0 for n greater than 4. If we go back to this case where n was equal to negative 4, if um, n is less than negative 4, then my h of n minus k will be this guy, but shifted farther to the left. And so again, I'll never have a, a part where the non-zero part of x and the non-zero part of h of n minus uh, k overlap. So for n less than negative 4, y of n is 0. OK, so basically we now have all the values for n, and I guess, or for y. And I guess we could uh, try to draw it now. Uh, let's see, what color should we do it in? Uh, we'll do it in red. Red's an excellent color. Okay, so now we're going to have n. We know that for 
negative 4 and lower y of n is 0. We computed that. We know that for 4 and 5, y of n is 0. And for values of n less than um, negative 5 and greater than 5. So now we can just go back through our computations. And we had, uh, for n equal negative 3, we had y is negative 1. So here at negative 3, y will be negative 1. Negative 2, we had y is negative 1. Negative 1, we had y is equal to 3. So that's a pretty big guy there. At 0, we had y is equal to 0. At n equal 1, we had y equal 5. So this guy goes all the way up here. That's a value of 5. At n equal 2, we had y of is equal to negative 2. So this goes down like this. And last but not least, at n equal 3, we had y of 3 equal to 2. OK, so there you have it. That is our y of n, where again, y of n was x of n convolved with h of n. OK, and again, just to make sure this is painfully obvious, this y is a function of n and not k. Now, I could, if I really wanted to, call it y of k, but that would serve no purpose here. I had to change the n's to k's in x and h so I could work the summation for a particular value of n. And hopefully you've seen how that works now. So um, that introduces discrete time uh, convolution. Subsequent videos will go through some situations that are more likely to show up in real life. Um, and hopefully you found this useful. Thanks for watching.